Okay, so, um, let's, it's just a couple of things. Uh, okay, so, before I was born, um, when you're in a colorless, odorless, timeless, non whatever form you love, um, when you're keeping watch on yourself or your potential routes back into the human system through genetics, um, which is what we are, from an immortal um, standpoint, uh, you keep check as goddess of here and elsewhere on the one biological that runs the entire anatomical and astral projection and the terrarium that keeps all of the anatomy healthy. Great. So that is I, I and Niklaus. It's our two lines. Um, and that's all I'm giving you for this particular format because I have people I have to protect in houses and databases and like programming sequences that others are trying to ha hijack and hack into. Um, and the world stage is not helping uh, me in any form. Um, I've been warning since uh, for quite some time, but uh, since my branch was broken off by fighting in Russia, let's say at the moment, um, as far as that little tidbit of extra human function, um, I'm going to make myself very clear in my English. Uh, I know that English is a very dirty language. It's also a very dirty business because that's what humans have turned it into. So, for as long as I've ever existed, which is immortal amounts of time, um, Russia has always been nine to ten time zones, and it has always been seeded strictly non-facially deformed meaning no mongoloid idiocy mixed in with the genetics, period. Understood? There is no melanin rich, there is no caramel, and there is no whatever. Less than colorless white fruit like Putin and myself. There's your two examples. Yeltsin was another one. He looked he said he looked Polish, but they were allowing him to call himself colorless fruit for Russia's purposes with me, an agreement and alliance. Got it? Great. So, I am the only form of genetic that an immortal would come back on. I don't accept defective merchandise being a mongoloid ID. So therefore, there is no purpose in keeping anything in a mongoloid suit, being a human, if they do not comply and conform with the colorless immortal version of seeds that are actually needed to keep watch and to keep protection over the planet. Being Earth. Good. Now, Earth, it's Earth. It's an organ system. It, there's the astral projection of immortality that listens and watches over my particular unit at the moment, and Hitler's as the number one priority, because you've broken the other anatomy so badly by m misconstruing uh, and misseeding and misleading the entire world stage and population. You are like a petri dish system, a small little unit from a big, larger microscope elsewhere looking down at you that can see it all. Um, for the moon bounce, which was the, if you look at a pig's tail, it spirals, right? It's a, a P-I-G-T-A-I-L. So on the back, it's a corkscrew, right? It looks like this, right? That's a pig's tail. So if you look at that and you pull it, the beginning was the moon landing, M-O-O-N. In that, in America, in that period of time, um, just, just North America, the 50 states, let's just say that for the moment, 50 states, uh, I'm being in New York on the East Coast, so in that placement cue card, um, I don't know why the melanin-rich 
uh, people were being riled up. I don't know why JFK got shot in the face, most likely part of that. But the most important thing of, and here's the other thing, Yoko Ono was supposed to get shot in her radically uh, disfigured facial whatever of mongoloid ID, not the British John Lennon. That is not a disfigured, that's a colorless fruit seed that was misprogrammed to like bestiality and produce a venereal disease kid. So um, the bestiality being Yoko Ono, and she's the Shauna Hildebrand in my day and age, in my heyday. So for all Mayday Mayday calls. Um, so in Yoko Ono and John Lennon, John Lennon was not supposed to be shot. JFK was not supposed to be shot. Yoko Ono, yes, was supposed to be shot right in the face to take care of the radically racial deformity of her speaking and the look of her broken genetic that is not immortal and is not a route that a colorless seed would ever come back on, since everybody's confused. The typical American, the epitome of colorless fruit for Russia, and for, um, for uh, the 50 states of America in JFK, right, John F. Kennedy, uh, which is Louis Cataruza, my father, and um, in Nicole Cataruza, um, which right now it's Donald Trump is the president and Putin's president over Russia. Um, in this heyday, um, we still agree that the men, Neil Armstrong and... I don't know what the other guy, John Glenn, right, John Glenn, oh, right, some guy got mad at me, he's like, I heard that you hated my grandfather because you didn't mention it, I'm like, whoa, back up, what, who are you, right, yeah, I was sitting on a stool in the Omega house, getting railed by, like, I don't know, all area idiots, misinformed, all right, so, um, Russia being looking like Putin, America looking like Donald Trump and myself, being the white, colorless, seeds are also the epitome of what it should look like for good white leadership, the colorless white kind. Um, and the two men that landed on the moon, or whether people believe it or not, the only reason why they were allowed that event was to lay claim to what God of immortal, coming back mortal, looks like. There's no facial deformity, there's no facial bestiality in either John Glenn or Neil Armstrong. They are the epitome of JFK and everything white and good in the world. Um, the, because we're having problems in the petri dish called Earth, when I look at it from immortality standpoint, billions of years, away, light years away, looking down at you and where this version of reboot has taken my sequencing which is cascading new effects so I have to re I have to retune your instrument this particular day is what I call Neverland equipment never land me here actually rebooting into this and making this because this happens either way I don't need actually a tic-tac-toe into this day and reboot in toes human toes being that I'm centrifuge I'm like I'm center syndrome and this is where, this is Down Syndrome, the broken face and genetic people have misconstrued, misled, and mistuned every land across the entire wor one world that you're in that now is facing extinction because of how horribly you broke it. Um, I have a... Um, I have a uh, night where I was, I don't know, I want to say like maybe 15, and I met someone, he said he was 21 at the time, he said, but, he said, whatever, I'm an older guy, I'm like, okay, great, so he gave me a piggyback ride, I mean, he was the most gorgeous guy I'd ever seen on, on any place I ever wind up tic-tac-toed into, whether it's in sequence or out of sequence, he's the only one that I really like, and the coloring is just perfect. Uh, he gave me a, a piggyback ride. Uh, something was up with my shoes. I don't know what it was. Uh, he was with a whole couple, like a whole group of guys. 
right? They did not look familiar to me. That doesn't didn't scare me. I was like, no, I'm good. I'm like, you just feel like so perfect, right? And he said, I was like, what's your name again? And he says, just call me Superman. I was like, Superman, okay. And I was like, hey, good. He says, uh, what do I call you? I'm like, well, right. I'm like, what do you mean? What do you call me? And I'm like, well, do you want my like name or if you're Superman, you want me to make up like another funny name? <laughs> Some other guy chimes in and he goes, uh, call her Svetlana <laughs> or whatever. And he goes, Svetlana. I was like, I've never heard that name before. <laughs> and then Superman said it. And as soon as he said it, I buried my face in his back because I got really embarrassed. Right. Didn't know why. Didn't matter. But it just, he felt right. So um, that's on an out of secret private moment between him and I and whoever he's friends with. Um, and let's see, there was one other mention I was supposed to pair in with this. It eludes me at the moment. It is amazing when Superman comes into your mind how everything else just flies away on unimportant. Um, right, I'm trying to get, oh right, centrifuge. So um, I had a, when I gave um, Alexi's key to, um, or actually Benjamin was driving the car at the time, he was the one using the second key, but uh, we took the key away uh, from me and gave it for Alex, um, Alex, he calls him Alexi, but Alex, um, for the lexicon, so there was a genetic imprint, but also a computer chip of my own private stash between him and I linked um, to override other area mongoloid idiocy giving me a problem um, for Alexander, myself, and Superman um, who calls me Svetlana and makes me giggle like a says, <laughs> and he just feels like home. That's what home feels like to me is him giving me a piggyback ride and I just hold him and hug it on him. Um, Alright, so uh, right, so when I was given him the key in 2015 um, on the night that Bracket, Bracket Kenny was uh, driving me to um, the location somewhere in his hometown of Sachem or Ronkonkoma, I don't know, whatever. I uh, walked in, right, and then uh, uh, he said that I looked like I was 15 again, right, and I don't know if we, if I landed in centrifuge with him. Uh, cent uh, well, what are we calling it? Center syndrome? Yeah, him and I are center syndrome, where everything actually works and is perfect, and the science isn't broken, and the beautiful people are able to recapture what humanity is supposed to look like, and not what, when I walk out into Down syndrome misformation, I actually turn into as well. Um, because my face loads, uh, my face is disfigured, for sure. I'm um, not in a science program that the organ and central station really um, will acknowledge as far as something worth keeping. Um, I don't know what else to say to any of you. I don't really have to. Uh, this is really to my one and only and his friends and architectures that or structure that he's built in order to come for me, Alexander. and. Um, that's it. Uh, Nucci looks like a perfect specimen of godly type. The problem is, is that he's zodiac into Capricorn, and he's tied into a whole cascading effect of errors on the human mongoloid idiocy project, which I don't approve to, or I never wanted to be part of. I said I want to go, I want to work Central Station and Central Syndrome only. I do not want to be in or amongst the Down Syndrome Foundation of broken people that don't want to listen and don't want to do anything that's useful or helpful to the immortals.